Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, do some Gravitino ball farming. I'm going to show you a setup uh, that I have and do a couple other things, too. Uh, but first of all, the Fractal update has come out uh, a couple of days ago, and I did some playing yesterday and discovered uh, at least two things that, that the update has broken. The first thing is that it's broken my terminal. So my terminal does not work on my Starship. Um, it just doesn't work. And I, I even, you know, uh, took it apart, put it somewhere else, put it back, and it doesn't work. So that's completely broken, which sucks. Uh, the other thing that I discovered was that the uh, derelict frigates, which is what I was going to do in this next episode, uh, those are broken too. Um, so if you land on a derelict frigger, uh, frigger, <laughs> frigate, as soon as you land and get out of your ship, it crashes the game. Like total crash to desktop crashes the game. Um, it ha I, I tested it a couple different times, and then I also looked on on some of the Steam forums, and other people are saying that they're having the same problem. So um, yeah, a couple some things are going to need to be fixed here on the fractal update. So that means we've changed our plans, and I'm not going to do a derelict frigate until I know for sure that that has been fixed. Fortunately. I keep backups of my saves for all the games I play in in the event that something bad does happen like that so that I can recover. And, um, you know, so I ended up just reloading the save after I confirmed 100% for sure that that is broken. Uh, all right, so let's see. Before we take off, um, I have uh, reorganized my storage. So this is, this is our drop chest here. So we're going to put stuff, you know, that um, if I want to drop something quickly and sort it out later, or things to sell will go in there. Um, this is basic resources in here. This is rarer resources or, or more valuable resources. Over here we've got crafting items. Um, over here we have charts and alien items. Over here we have modules and upgrades. And I greatly reduced the number of modules uh, that I had by installing and then melting them down if I didn't if I didn't like them. So we have a lot of room there. Oh, you know what? We've got this cargo bulkhead that we should also apply. Six, seven, and eight are not being used for anything, and then nine is a miscellaneous storage, which I currently have the banned weapons in. Okay, so that is that. Let's hit this again. I want to make sure I'm at full health for what we're going to do here in a little bit. Um, now we have our frigate has arrived back so let's go ahead and look at this and you know like like before if you guys are not interested in reading the logs of the frigate just fast forward until it's over but I do like to read through them at least for now because it's interesting it's part of the game so let's check it out and see what we get Okay, so we got um, a couple of pearls, and how much coin did we get? 73,000 units. Not bad for a single low-level ship. So let's see, the freighter is going to have those pearls, so let's move those into our crafting storage container here. Let's apply this bulkhead to the freighter before I forget to do that and take off with something extremely valuable. And uh, we're going to focus on uh, bumping up some of our technology slots first. Um, yeah, at least for this time. Okay, so we applied that. Very good. Uh, let's get the, the freighter sent back out on another mission. Now, it is my intention, uh, maybe even in the next episode, uh, for us to get an actual fleet going. Uh, but for now, um, we're just going to keep sending this guy out. Uh, so we have 
Discovery Voyage Balanced Expedition. Um, yeah, let's just let's just do this one. So we'll select our ship and send them out. And they're off. Okay, so that takes care of that. Awesome. Um, I have. I actually have. I just noticed these. I have more gravitino balls in here. We're gonna. We're just gonna keep one full stack in here for now. And um, man, look at those storm crystals. Uh, we're gonna sell the rest of these. Uh, because what we're gonna oh that's right this stupid thing doesn't work. Um, all right here here let's also go here and um, break this open too. Okay what do we get? We got a multi-tool module. What does it do? Fire rate and damage. Nah, let's just melt that down and we'll get some some parts for it. So each time you melt one of those down, you get a wiring loom and some other things too, which is pretty good. Uh, a little bit of pugnium. Some of that, and did we not get a wiring loom from that? Maybe we didn't this time. Huh, okay, usually you do, but apparently we didn't get it this time. Making sure it didn't show up over here. Okay, so let's uh, hop on over to the station and sell these Gravitino balls. I am in the three-star system, the three-star Viking system, which is um, as a kids. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, this is the right system here. And the reason I'm selling these, the ones that I have now, is because uh, we're going to do a little timed thingy and see how well we can do. Uh, no, we want our own inventory. Uh, for farming these things. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's go back to here. Okay, so we get 1.5 million for those. Uh, incidentally, we are up to 82.3 million units, and we have over 15,000 nanites. So we're doing really good in regards to that. Uh, okay, let's go back to the freighter. And we're going to just do a couple more prep things before we take off. All right, so what I want to do is... Does that work now that I warped? Nope. Sucks. Um, we're going to drop a few things off because we want to make as much room in our in our inventory as possible. So, uh, and I'm just going to put these in the drop chest. So we don't need that. We don't need any of these modules because the place that we're going to is that dead planet that I did a few episodes ago, and it has no environmental hazards at all. So we don't even need ion batteries. Uh, we do want to take some unstable plasma. We are still going to need life support. Um, we're going to need ammunition. And I think I'll keep the condensed carbon with me, but we'll put the repair kit back. So we're just basically maximizing, maximizing as much space as we can uh, in our own inventory. And we could even... Well, we could do it in the Starship too, except for that we don't really need to because when we fill up our own inventory, we're just going to warp back. And the reason for that is because I have... Are we maxed out? Yes, we are. I have created a, a small base on this planet. Okay, so let's go ahead and teleport to it. Now, this is the blue star system, um, again, that I spent uh, two or three episodes ago where we did all that exploring. And if you guys remember, um, there is a dead planet in that star system, and it has a ton of Gravitino balls. I like this planet for a couple of reasons, though. Um, it has no hazards, you know, no environmental hazards, so we don't have to worry about that. It also doesn't have any grass or vegetation, making it very easy to move around and spot the Gravitino balls. In addition to that, it's a great place to farm sentinels because they are going to come after you. Um, and it even has whispering eggs, um, so you can pick up some larval cores uh, while you're at it. So yeah, I made myself um, just a little, small little base here. Let's get, uh, uh, oh, I'm still in that. Let's get this going again. Um, the Sentinels are not a problem at all. Um, they're very easy to, to stay away from unless you, you actually want to engage them. And so, yeah, um, what we're basically going to do is I'm going to completely fill up my inventory. And um, 
Oh, I was going to make some more of these. Well, we shouldn't need them for now. So I'm just going to completely fill up my inventory uh, with what I have for now. And then when this is full, we will warp back to the freighter and then and then sell. Uh, well, actually, we'll probably have to go to the space station because the freighter terminal thingy isn't working. And sell them, and we'll just see how long that takes and how you know how much money we can make in whatever that time frame happens to be. Um, this is not necessarily the absolute best way to make money in the game, but it, I think it's definitely a valid way, and it's kind of fun, too. Um, so, with that being said, I'm going to... Hold on one second. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, uh, sorry, I just realized that I had my streaming screen up for the first part of this video. Uh, I have, I've just finished doing a live stream earlier this evening, and sometimes I forget to uh, switch it back. Okay, so here's the plan. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to start the stopwatch on my phone here and we're going to see how long it takes us to fill up our entire inventory with Gravitina balls and then take it back and sell it. So we get a feel for, you know, how much we can make per hour basically. Okay, so I'm starting the timer now on my phone and let's go out and start collecting. And it's, it's really easy. The other thing I like about this planet, too, is that it's a um, very low-gravity planet. So, you know, I can basically stay airborne indefinitely because my jetpack will recharge before uh, before I hit the ground. So, very useful from that standpoint, too. So, I'm basically just going to run around. Whoops. Uh, run around and harvest gravitino balls. And sometimes you can find, like, a huge cluster of them, too. So I wanna, I wanna move fairly quickly, but it, you know, it's not like a race either. I just want to get a decent feel for how much we can expect to make per hour doing this. That's a huge cluster there. Look at that. It's beautiful. We got a ton there. And then uh, we'll also keep our eyes peeled, like I said, for um, whispering eggs, because it's basically the same thing for those too. You just find the whisper. Uh, the whispering eggs and you keep ahead of the monsters there's one right there and they pretty much aren't going to real, really be able to catch you either they're a little faster than the sentinels though okay. there's another little group there Them, and then run away. Run away! Go. I suppose if you were, uh, we could and maybe even should count the uh, the price of the larval cores too. Except for those, I'm probably not going to sell. I'm probably going to turn those into nanites. One thing about this, though, is that sometimes the Gravitino Balls don't spawn in until you kind of get close. But, I mean, there's enough of them around to where you don't have to travel far before you find another batch of them, you know. Um, there's some right there. So it's just kind of fun to do this. Just kind of chill. You know, maybe put Audible on or something and farm up some Gravitinos. And if we get, you know, if we get really far away from the base, then we just we can just call the ship to us. I'm getting on a little bit of a hillside here. Come on, Gravitinos. Maybe they don't spawn on the hillsides as much. I haven't done this enough to, 
you know, to really know. There we go. That's just an individual sentinel that's angry with us because they're aggressive on this planet. So one little lone gravitino ball right there. There we go. That's a little bit more of a batch of them. Quite right. Gotta get up here so I can actually get to the egg. See ya, suckers. Okay, we got a full inventory. Um, let's go ahead and <clears throat> call the uh, ship back to us. Uh, cannot summon, oh, can't summon in combat. Okay, let's just head back towards the base then. Okay. Let's go directly to the Ezekiel's space station. Normally I'd go to my freighter, but since my stupid terminal is not working. Okay, let's go here and we want to sell. And we basically made a 10.3 million in Gravitinos. And if we wanted to sell the larval cores, which I'm not going to, we'd make another one. So let's just say round it off to 12 minutes. And I'm stopping my clock and that was 20 minutes so we basically made about 12 million credits in 20 minutes so we can so you can figure about 36 million per hour doing that now of course that's that's uh there's a lot of variables to this like you know you could go down there and have a harder time finding them or be further away but i mean 36 million per hour is, is not bad and it's kind of fun to do it too and again i'm not saying this is the best way to make money but it is a way to make pretty decent money and you know have fun doing it too so 
yeah, that was really cool. Uh, okay, so now, let's see, we gotta decide what we're gonna do next. Um, we really need to get salvage frigate modules. So, one, one thing we could do is we could start hitting some uh, crash freighters. Another thing we could do is we could go... Uh, let's go back to our freighter. We could go um, into an outlaw system and attack freighters. Because I think if we do that... Well, I don't know if we still take a, a hit with the faction that we're attacking, but we won't have to worry about sentinels attacking us. Um, so, here, let's do a save. I'm going to grab some stuff back out of here. Just wait for him to finish because it doesn't take long at all. There we go. So we got ourselves several hundred more nanites in the process there. Cool. All right. So um, what are we going to do now? We're going to go... I have a... Do I have any more emergency distress charts? I don't think I do. We're going to have to probably go buy some more of those. Um, you can get... You can also get, you know, um, ship upgrade modules and... Oh, I guess we still have seven more larval cores there. Um, other pretty decent things out of the crashed freighters, too. But... We might have a better chance of getting salvage frigate modules by blowing up some freighters. But again, I'd, I'd prefer to do that in a, a pirate system. And if we're going to go to a pirate system, we might as well grab this and take it with us to sell. If we get caught with it, then we get caught with it. So what? Um, I want to put this back in here. Hazard protection modules. Okay. Uh, by the way, we are now up to 92.6 million and 16,000 nanites. That's pretty good. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and pop another save here. And then we're going to head down to our ship and see if we can spot a pirate system to go to or an outlaw system. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to do. Um, I want to unlock our first wingman slot, so that way if we come across a nice um, S-Class fighter, then uh, we can add them to our fleet. Yeah, manage squadron. Okay, so the first slot costs us 800 nanites. The second one costs 3,500. Let's unlock that. The third is 7,500 nanites. And the last one is 10,000. So we, I don't have enough nanites to unlock the last one. So, um, but we'll unlock the first three and then we have, we'll be able to um, start get, uh, looking for wingmen. But we, but we want to wait until we find, you know, most likely an S-class ship. Uh, but the thing is, is that your wingmen, it, both the ship that they fly and the wingmen themselves have stats. So we just have to look at those and make sure that they're, they're decent. Let's go ahead and hop on into the galaxy map and start looking for piratey pirate. Okay, this system here. Oh, Ragale's a pirate system? Wait a minute, what? I didn't know Ragale was a pirate system. It is a pirate system though. We've, we've been there a few times. So I'm a little confused about that, I suppose. Maybe what we could do is, is try... Let's try this one, because it's got the small skull. Um, 
and it doesn't have any stars at all which is interesting because you know normal systems have at least one star so this makes makes me wonder if this is an actual outlaw system it's a geck it says black market economy and pirate controlled okay yeah so this is a pirate system um oh we got comms well we had comms Is this guy being asking us to help him or I don't know what's going on here. Okay, well let's fight the pirate pirates off anyway. Though the transmission is infused with static and its alien speech garbled, one thing is unmistakable. The life form is in great distress. Their broadcast contains a set of coordinates. Input distress coordinates. Is this... Is this uh, for the settlement thing? Yeah, it's a settlement thing. Okay, I don't really want to do a settlement thing right now. Okay, so... I mean, we'll, we'll try that eventually, but not really interested in that at the moment. Here, let's scan this planet. Okay, it's a frost planet. So, what we... So, I guess what we can do is just start attacking some of these frigates. We've got another communication. It's the same dude. The life form who must be the captain of this freighter looks greatly relieved. Gesture as if the wall. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Let's let's go land on the freighter then. Navigational data received. The thing is, though, is we already we already got our free freighter. So, what does this mean then if we land on here? Do we? Does he just give us like a reward or something? I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? I like this freighter. It's pretty nice. See what it is. Uh, it's a, it's just a C class. Okay. Well, let's go talk to the dude anyway, because I'm curious as to what he's going to say to us since we've already gotten our free freighter. Went the wrong way. Commander Bogle Bogleby. Small creature chatters excitedly and hops just around that they point towards the control panel of their freighter. So they seem to be suggesting that I take command. So how is it that I can get another free freighter? And if I do get another free freighter, can I sell it? Um, oh, okay, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna let me buy it, it'll only let me exchange it. And this guy is a lot more money than mine, well, no, that's the trade-in price. But it's a C class. It has 26 slots, but I think that's probably the total slots. Because we also we have 
31 slots, I think, in total. So I'm sure that's counting all of the slots. Okay. Well, um, it's good to know that this can happen because what we could maybe do in the future is um, if we come across an S-Class freighter, um, then, then we could maybe exchange it and get it at a discount kind of thing. What would happen, though, with all the stuff in your current freighter? You probably would lose it, I would think. Yeah, I don't know. Very interesting. Anyway, nonetheless, we are not going to do this. Uh, but what we will do from Commander Buggleby here is we will request payment. Why not? Oh, nice. We got a cargo bulkhead. Very good. Some standing with the GEC. 235 nanites. A decent amount of gold, and it looks like that's it. Okay, cool. All right, pleasure doing business with you, dude. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to go check out the space station. That is definitely an outlaw station. Look at that. Very cool. This will be my first time ever in an outlaw station. Looks a little bit run down. Dark in here. that business privateer wolligan that's what he has to say warrior I seem to have impressed them got some more Vikings in here okay so, we got a terminus here, okay. Um, let's look at this ship. That's a solar ship, but it's only a C-class. It's cool looking though. Alright, let's go check these vendors out over here. Let's see what this is. Messenger of the Stars. Class C. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother looking at it. What do you do? You're a scrap dealer. Okay, so you're just like the scrap dealer at the other stations where I could get... Uh, we can get one of these, but I, I don't want to do that until I've confirmed that they fixed the issue. With that not working. What's up here? Nothing's up here. What about you... Contraband agent. He's the guy we can sell our, our stuff to. Smuggled contraband. 81,000. There we go. What does he have for sale? Nothing we want. Okay. And what do you do? Buccaneer. In, are you just a random dude? Yeah, here. Give us a... Give us a name. Give us a technology symbol. Blueprint, okay. What about you? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay, so he's got he's got all the X modules. How interesting, man. Okay. Thing is, is again, these can be a crapshoot and they're so easy to get from just harvesting the glass that I don't think I'll mess with that. Does this do anything? Starship outfitting. Oh, we could salvage ships from here, right, okay. We don't have anything to upgrade our ship with, so... Okay, very cool. This is neat. Alright, so... What we're gonna do... Oh yes, here we go. I 
Maxim suit upgrade. Um, I w again, I want to keep working on my tech for now. I'm just kind of waiting to see if any more ships come in. Can't really tell. Okay, what we're going to do is hop in here, get back out to a save point. And we're going to go... What does this do? Oh, appearance modifier. Okay. I'm going to go rogue for a little bit and blow up some freighters. Uh, because we need, so we need uh, salvage freighter modules. So, again, my understanding is that we won't get attacked by sentinels if we do this. Isn't that the guy we just helped? And that's a huge fleet. Fugitive starship detected. Oh, we could go after him. Yeah, let's go after this guy. Bounty hunting. That was an easy 130,000 credits. Okay. I'd feel like a real dick for it attacking the guy that we just helped before so let's leave him alone but let's go over to this fleet and blow them up okay so we'll get the cargo pods Pods there. Okay. So we don't seem to be. Wait, what's that message? Oh, he he wants to, he wants to know if we want to hire the frigate. Um, after we attacked him. No, nah, these numbers are terrible. Definitely don't want to hire him. Okay, so is that it for this guy's freight? What about, oh, here we go. Oh, this is a Gek ship. Okay, well, the Gek is the race that I care the least about at this point. And again, we can, we can get back in their good graces later. Get any loot keys for that? Yeah, that's just um, that was just a small cargo pod, I think. Okay. First spawn relics. I'm sorry, Gek. I know this is a terrible thing for me to do, but we need stolen DNA samples. So we can... Oh, okay. So we can actually look and see what's in there. Right? That would appear to be the case. Get some platinum there. Magnetized ferrite. So will it tell us if there's a... Uh, If there's a, a, a salvage frigate module in any of these ships, oh, we just blew that guy up entirely. All right, now nah, I'm not gonna hunt, destroy him. Okay, let's go. No, 
mess this dude up. Moon ether, uranium, chromatic metal, frigate fuel, moon ether. I think that's illegal, isn't it? Maybe the frigate module is like a, a bonus piece. I'm not, I'm not sure. All right, what do we get from that? Counterfeit circuits, that's gold. More moon ether. shooting at me. Why would you do something like that? <laughs> okay, um... Counterfeit circuits. More moon ether. Uranium. Prismatic feathers. Okay. So I think we've pretty much ruined this fleet here. I don't see any more um, pods that we can do. this guy up too. Alright, well let's take a look and see we, what we got here. Just a lot of illegal stuff that we'll just go back to the space station and sell, I guess. Ooh, okay, these these Gragras, we've got enough to break a million on that. That's almost a million. Um, well, let's go check this fleet out. This is a new group of victims. Banned weapons. the pods were on the top there. Okay. Now we'll get the little ones here. Counterfeit circuits. More draw. Draw, draw. Now the, now the gek hate us. Can't blame him. Can't blame him, man. Spawn relics and get circuits. I don't think this guy has any freight on him. Okay. Here, let's take this guy out. Okay, so we've pretty much hosed all of the 
the freighters in the immediate vicinity. Did we scan this planet? Uh, it's a cold planet. Okay. So why don't we do this? Why don't we pulse drive away from here? Uh, inspect frigate. These are terrible numbers. Absolutely terrible numbers. Okay. Let's just get away from these guys a little bit and then stop again and see if anything else um, comes in. We call our own freighter here. Yes, we sure can. Very nice. Okay. How many, how many planets are in this system? Discoveries. Abandoned planet. Okay. Uh, sound like a fleet just warped in. Uh, no, those are the ones we just finished blowing, just got done blowing up. Oh, did our frigate get back from its mission? Maybe that's what just happened. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's, let's go ahead and dock. going to do is anything that's a resource item we're going to offload and then we're just going to go sell uh, the loot that we got and see how much money it is. I mean, I'll, I'm not expecting it to be a huge amount of money, but we'll see. Um, okay, so we want to grab that and that. all the rest of this. Oh, we want this to go into the freighter. We want the... Uh, no. We want to put the, the Gek Relic thingy me, thingy me doodle in here. We have to pull that out of the ship first. This is a suspicious packet. I don't know what we just got from that. Oh, we got a repair kit. Okay, nice. We keep traumatic metal in here, as well as platinum and gold. I think I keep uranium over here. It's a little bit rarer. Yeah, we do. Okay. Nice. Um, all right, let's go apply this to our frigate. Add additional storage. And we'll fill out this bottom spot. It takes care of that. Does this happen to be working now by chance? Nope, it is completely broken. All right, let's go ahead and teleport to the pirate system base. Space stations, this one here. I think this is the guy we want to sell to, right? Ultravan agent, yeah. Okay. So right now we're sitting at 92.9 mil. Oh. Oh, it's in it. 
it's in the starship. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, that got us up to 97. So we made about 5 million off of that. That's actually not bad money if you think about it. Not too bad of money anyway. What is this? This is a shield. Let's take this off for a second and see if this is any better than what we currently have. So that's... 8% shield strength. That's that's terrible because these are like 38 and 34. Okay, so we'll melt that down for the parts. Okay, well, um, you can definitely definitely make a fairly decent amount of money uh, from just blowing those ships up and getting all that crap off of them. And really, I made more money than that too if you count the resources that we also got. Uh, I believe there's a quest. A whole quest line that we can do uh, also that came with this Outlaws update. I don't remember exactly how we start it, but that's something we, we might want to think about doing at some point later on down the road. Aftermark. Oh, yeah, he's the guy that has those thingies. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. What I think I'm going to do is... It's a C class. Um, I think I might keep doing this for a bit and see if I can luck out and get a salvage frigate module. And if if I can't, if it doesn't happen, if it's just not in the cards, um, then maybe we look at doing some Nexus missions. And if that doesn't work, we look at doing some some uh, crashed freighters. Uh, but we just, we need salvage frigate modules, like really badly need them. So, I will, um, I'll just keep working this system off camera a little bit. And if, uh, if I do come across one, um, I'll, I'll keep the camera rolling and that way I can show that to you on camera. And we'll go from there. Alright, so thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. See you later.